What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham G. S. Matthews, break down all the original content you watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the September 23rd, 2023 edition of the SmackDown Lowdown. Megan Moran in the studio, Matt Camp not in the studio, although he was still on the show remotely. Uh, they run down the biggest headlines from SmackDown to start off the show here, including replaying the LWO versus Profits match from SmackDown, won by Rey Mysterio and uh, Santos Escobar. Uh, we hear from Rey Mysterio and Santos and the rest of the LWO backstage here with uh, Caleb Braxton. And Rey says that he's been a fan of Escobar's father for a long time. It was on a, an honor to team with Santos on this show on SmackDown on Friday night. Santos says that it's been a dream for him to be in the ring with Rey Mysterio, not only his partners, but his opponents, next week when they collide for the United States Championship. And Rey says, oh, be careful what you wish for. He kind of jokes about that. And, uh, you know, he also acknowledges that he's champion because of Santos. Santos gave his opportunity to Rey two months ago or a month and a half ago, and that's why Rey's champion. So we'll see if that plays into the... Uh, Santos heel turn potentially next week but he also says it'll be a friendly competition next week to see who's better and then Zelina Vega also says that the championship will be staying regardless within the LWL and they preview in the studio Ray and Santos for next week for the United States Championship um, they replay the EO Sky and Asuka match for the WWE Women's Championship on this show great match won by Sky to retain the title uh, we hear from Charlotte Flair backstage, and Charlotte says that she's a different Charlotte, a lot like Bailey from the last thing they faced off years ago. She's also a different Charlotte at this point. And uh, her big question is, why is she content? Why is Bailey content carrying around EO's title? And uh, she will be content beating Bailey next week, she says. So they preview Charlotte and Bailey for next week's show. Matt Cam says that Bailey winning could earn herself a title shot, and how that's going to work within damage control. We'll find you know find out next week if that happens, which it probably won't. They also recap the Austin Theory and Grayson Waller win over the Brawling Brutes. Uh, we hear from A-Town Down Under, or whatever their fucking team name is, with Theory and Waller. Theory says that they are the greatest tag team, not only in WWE today, but the greatest tag team of all time. And Waller says that's because they're undefeated. DX didn't go undefeated. The Dudley Boys didn't go undefeated. Even the Usos did not go undefeated. And Waller says, you know, he talks about the Grayson Waller effect next week with Bobby Lashley as the special guest. And uh, Theory says that they're now up to 150 million views. This was actually a really entertaining interview. Theory seems to be more in his element now with Grayson Waller than he was on his own. So I like this new direction for him. It gives Waller something to do. They work well together. I like this a lot. Um, in the studio, closing out the show here, they replay the ending of the show with uh, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa laying out AJ Styles and John Cena. And their kind of lingering question is, from Matt Camp, is Jimmy back in the bloodline, which they already talked about last week. And uh, it's still the same question. We have no idea. He's technically not, and he probably will eventually still not be included in the group. It will be revealed, oh, you were never really a part of the bloodline these last couple of weeks, and you're out. He's probably taking the pinfall loss of the pay-per-view, which doesn't exactly build him up all that well for that WrestleMania match with Jay. Uh, Jay outclasses him by a million, but whatever. In terms of booking, star power, talent, Jimmy's great, but Jay is just the bigger star. And has proven to be for the last couple of years. Now, that's just a fact. If, if we're talking about the two as singles competitors. But anyway, a pretty decent addition here of SmackDown Lowdown. I like the Waller and Theory interview. I thought that was well done. The Charlotte one was fine. And the LWO one was fine as well. Hyping up their matches for next week. Pretty big SmackDown on tap for next week. We'll be breaking it down here on the channel. So stay tuned for that next weekend. Thank you guys for checking in my review. I appreciate it. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Have an awesome one. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.